What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to show you guys what in my opinion is the fastest way you can farm Radiolarian Cultures. What you need for verse weapons. Now I uploaded the video about a week ago of a little farming spot on the EDZ. Which is quite efficient but it's nowhere near as quick as this spot I'm going to show you guys today. Now these things right here. I mean, they are quite a pain in the ass to obtain. You have to do public events or farm chests on any planet. So, in my opinion, you want to find a spot where there's a public event that constantly spawns in. And there are plenty of chests you can exploit. So, that's what I'm going to show you guys within today's video. So, the place we're going to check out is Unnessus. Um, right here, where there's actually a public event uh, going on right now, but I'm going to ignore it for the purposes of this video. It's not there, it's right here. Uh, so you want to spawn into Exodus Black. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, but yes, it's a great, great, great farming spot. And like I said, these verse weapons, they take one heck of a grind. Now this week we had the sword, which was the original uh, first weapon. And then once you've done that, you had the perfect paradox. Then I thought, well, there's only going to be three each week, so after the Perfect Paradox is obtained, there's only one more. But no, I waited to the weekend to do Perfect Paradox, got the Perfect Paradox, and then realised there's three more you have to grind for. Now, I'm on the second of the three, and it's Monday. I've got literally today to farm this one <laughs> right here, which shouldn't take too long. Um, I think it's verse two, which I think might be the side arm. And then there's another verse which I think could be an SMG. So I've got a lot of grinding to do today. So yes, like I said, this spot right here, you want to spawn into Exodus Black. And there's a public event that spawns in right there. There's plenty of VIP enemies that spawn in as well, which you should take out when you get that notification pop up on the left hand or basically on your feed. You should definitely track them down and kill them because they drop the concentrated versions of these quite often and they're the blue ones when you get one of them it's happy days nothing better seriously and it was what one that, is that dude there yeah there he is right yeah so i'm just going to take him out just because i can if you don't depart i didn't even know he was here there we go give me a chest give me a chest give me a chest 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 and is he going to give me anything good okay so i got a, I got a green one which is fine i should really take part in this public event but hey he's going to die pretty quick now anyway but yeah these radio laying cultures are one heck of a pain in the ass to come across. I mean, they're just they're just rare. I mean, one per public event, one per one per chest even, which is pretty rare as well in itself. But like I said, this farming spot, this this actual area right here, is a great great spot. So where you from? Me where you spawned in? You want to head to? You so you're spawning up there. You want to head this direction right here. You want to head down there. Now, if you guys remember the first original loot cave introduced to our fan in the game, um, we're basically going to use the same spot because the chests just constantly spawn. And now Bungie have actually kind of buffed chests in a way. You can farm as many as you possibly can and you won't empty. You won't find empty ones, which is a great, great thing. Because I hate farming chests to open duds. Uh, you're farming them and you just get nothing from them. That's just one of the worst things in the game. So this is a loot shooter. Farming is what this game is all about. So yeah, let's take out these enemies. And I'll show you guys where the chests can spawn within this little cave system. So one can spawn there. One can spawn up there. One can spawn there. One can spawn there. One can spawn there where it is. Uh, there's a cave here which you can spawn in. And there's a cave right there which you can spawn in. So once you come into here, check these places for the, uh, for the actual chest. Once you find a chest. I'll show you guys what you do. Now, so many times I've picked up two chests in a row and I've had these radio laying cultures in them, which is just its one of the best feelings ever because it literally takes 20 seconds to pick up two chests, if that. So, yeah, it's a great, great farming spot. So, you go through the teleport, I think. Uh, you fly down to this area right here, Chamber of Sky. Simply turn back on yourself and head back to the chest. It is literally that simple. And sometimes you can actually grab three of the same chest. It's that fast. Now, this spot here is pretty hard because you come flying at the teleporter and you'll miss it. So, yeah, grab it again. Legendary Yank. Look at that for a chest. Look at that for a chest, people. Beautiful. Now, I'll try and grab that for one more time, which probably won't. I'm probably a little bit too slow. But, hey, it is what it is. But either way, guys, this is definitely the fastest way you can exploit a uh, chest. It really is. Uh, Unnecess or anywhere, I think, I believe. There you go. I'll grab it for a third time. 
There we go, as you can see, I got two in a row from three chests. And I'm just going to quickly go up here so the enemies don't kill me. But yes, guys, this is a great, great spot. And like I said, keep an eye out on the feed because when it says um, a VIP enemy is in the area, you simply want to head back out the save system, uh, system so and take him out. You really do. And like I said, keep an eye on that public event as well because public events are great places for these radio Larian cultures. But yes, on screen now you see more. Um, Basically, more recordings of me getting two in a row. And yes, so when the, once you've got the chest for the third time, you probably want to go back through the teleporter, go back down to the Chamber of Sky, come back and get the chest again because it will spawn in one of the locations I did mention. Now, it can glitch out sometimes, and sometimes you'll come back to this area and there's nothing here. When that happens, simply fast travel back to the Exodus Black area and go back down into this cave system. And it is as simple as that, people. But guys, that is it for another video. I hope it helped you out. I really do. So get grinding, people. Get these verse weapons because we don't know what next week is going to offer. But thanks, as always, for stopping by, people. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.